What happens underground is very little known and very important to what happens above ground. And there is a lot of interest in finding out what happens to vegetation with climate change. Where is the tree line? Where are forests going to grow? What species and how fast? But earthworms and everything that happens underground um, are very important for that. And if we don't know where they are and what they do, we cannot make proper predictions of what's going to happen to the forest, for example, or to agriculture and so on. I guess we have still the two questions. One is looking into the past, how the worms arrived here. Then looking at the present, where are the worms now? And the other is to know where are the worms or what kind of functions the worm will be doing in the future throughout Finland. And where are we now? The problem is that when we started, we thought that there was more knowledge about where the worms are now, but there wasn't. So we did a, a pilot project and we left with the shovel and the mustard and we started traveling in Finland and trying to do this exercise that we've done now in the forest. And you can see that it's quite tedious if you have to map all Finland, doing these holes and doing it in many different types of forest and agriculture. You cannot do it with a small team and a summer. So either you put a lot of resources and a lot of people or do something else. And that's what we started doing now with, with citizen science, with the schools. Basically, the idea was to contact, to, uh, contact citizens to collect data for us. And we thought that school children and young students might be a good, good audience because, well, basically they can collect the data for us, but also they can also uh, learn something about science and ecology and biology, about worms and so on. Mobile phones, they use mobile applications. So we're interested about how they are, um, how they can um, include ICT in, um, in biology education, especially in the field. Uh, if you think about out outdoor education or education in the field, there hasn't been so many uh, ICT tools available. And this is very uh, good tool for, for many schools because um, uh, it provides them lots of data. Uh, they, they can interact with the mobile application, they can get the location data and so on. So they send the samples uh, in the tubes that we have sent them. And these tubes have the swabs, like what Aku is doing, the school students will be doing the same thing. And they will send us these samples in ethanol. And we process these samples here to cross-check the photographs and to confirm the ID of the earthworms that they have found, whether it is correct or not. The students were really excited to do this. I mean, we were a bit concerned whether the students would be, you know, how it's, it, we thought it wouldn't be easy for them to get them to hand these, uh, you know, handle these worms. But they, they, the students and teachers were really excited about this project. And uh, they have been, we have had a very, very good positive response uh, from many different schools.